So for today, we did not get a level increase, but we should be getting one tomorrow with Artificial Island. So you want to make sure that you reach level cap. So starting out, you want to do Mia's Kitchen, you want to do your bounties, then you want to do any ruins you have, and then make sure you complete the story. Now let's talk about vitality, starting with the joint operations. So for today, we got access to shoulders, helm, and a shiro matrix. So this is okay. If you wanna spend your vitality on it, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I probably wouldn't use any vitality solutions. Next, we have Interstellar Exploration. Again, if you have two or more in this category, it's a level three Stargate. If you have a level two booster frame or nanofiber, you might want to consider doing those because we're going to need a lot of materials going forward and we will reach 65 most likely in four days. But if you can't find any good Stargates, you can do Dimensional Trials, just make sure you do Difficulty 5. Or you can do Space Time Domains, but just make sure you do Difficulty 5. Again, to prepare for Artificial Island, you want to probably go ahead and knock out your Supply Pods, Side Missions, and your Puzzles. By doing this, you can get more rolls, materials, and just completely focus your time on Artificial Island. But if you're still struggling for XP, feel free to go ahead and force a cipher any password chest and open up any rusted iron chest. You can also do the Frontier Clash AFK farm or do the Rain Caller Island chest run. And if you want more information on that, check out my experience farm video. Then don't forget to do your daily gifts. You want to go to the Black Market and talk to Hopkins. You want to go to Cetus Island and do the Claw Machine. Then you want to do your two ability trainings. Quick tip, if you get the rhythm training, Samir is MVP. Next, you want to maintain your vehicle. So some of the best places is Astra Shelter. The next place would be Bangi Shelter. After that, we got the Black Market and the best place, High Crows. Also attack any elemental rocks you see for crystals. Next, we have the Road to Strife event. Now today is the last day to do this event. So if you have been behind on getting your star grit, you wanna make sure you get it all today. And we also have access to all of the events. So you got Doubles Mega Arena, you got the Stargates, and we have Orienteering starting at 12. But for the people that have kept caught up, just make sure that you have at least a thousand star grit so that way you can buy out the gold. Now for the news. So it does look like we're gonna have a maintenance tonight to prepare for Artificial Island. So what they're doing now is making it UTC plus zero. So you're going to need to do some conversion for your time. Since I live in the Eastern zone, it looks like this maintenance is starting at 1 a.m. for me and it's going to end at 4 a.m. And then we have access to Artificial Island. Here they talk about all the things that we're going to get once we go to Artificial Island. So, you know, we got that eight player raid. Claudia's coming out. We get access to the Ida Cafe. Crow's getting nerfed and we're getting compensation for all of that. We're essentially getting 800 dark crystals for everything. We also get access to this new supply run which starts after the update to where you just basically log in and get rewards they're also going to reset the red nuclear special packs so if you're planning to roll on claudia but you skip frig you might want to buy these before these get reset that way you can save a little bit of money and also i still recommend like if you're skipping claudia but you want to get lynn or someone in the future and you have a little bit of disposable income it's probably best to just go ahead and buy these whenever you can especially if you're saving and on top of that they're giving us a couple more special red nucleus packs to where we can get even better deals I also want to give you a quick reminder that if you didn't get the September gift pack, you have until September 30th to buy that before they replace it with the October gift pack. And now for the big announcement. So if you go to the Tower of Fantasy official website, there's a reward section and it tells you all the rewards we have gotten so far, as well as upcoming rewards. So you notice we got the cube, we got the free SSR selector. And if we scroll down, it tells us about upcoming rewards we're going to be getting. So here you see the login supply, which starts at 915 and ends on 927. And round two starts at 929 and ends at 1027. So we can get 13 red nucleus all together. Then we have the Ida Cafe to where we can get five red nucleus, special vouchers, also some nameplates. But here's the interesting thing. We have something called Vera Orienteering and it starts at 927. So this might confirm that Vera is coming out on 927. But again, this could have been a typo. Maybe we're getting something in Artificial Island. Who knows? I wanted to at least show you guys, but take it with a grain of salt because I don't believe that they meant to show this. So it could easily could be a, a typo. I was personally thinking that Vera was coming out at 1013, but hey, I'm fine to go there early. Then we got the weekly tab. You want to make sure you're doing enough things so you can get everything up top, which brings us to our challenges. Now I want to go ahead and mention if you're doing some pretty hard challenges like the buy on, you could save your Mia's kitchen and use those to help power you up. But just remember, you want to make sure you use your three attempts before the day's over. Starting with Bygone Phantasm. So I recommend that you try to climb a couple levels today because you don't want to try to wait to the last minute on Sunday, especially now that we're going to have Artificial Island and there's going to be a lot more things to do. 
Frontier Clash. Now tomorrow we do get that crow nerf. So if you have an attempt, you wanna make sure that you're doing your Frontier Clash tonight. So that way you can get those five boxes, especially if you're using Crow. Voitress. Now we should have got another attempt today, so you can go ahead and do that, get some pretty good XP. Also get a Matrix Row if you are close to being capped. You could save it, but remember, you wanna check and see if this is a first time boss for you, which for me, it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out. And the Wormhole. Now it has reset, so you got another five days to knock out the endless mode. I kind of recommend that you probably just do it today because I forgot about it and I had to do it late last night. And we're going to be going into the artificial island, so the less things you have to worry about, the better. And Apex League. If you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, you probably want to put a couple hours in each day. Next, we have our daily buys. So you want to go to shop, hot, and then buy your two vitality solutions. Now this is only if you can afford it. Then we have the commentary, starting with the crystal dust store. So again, you wanna make sure you buy your advancement modules and your booster modules. Then for your golden crystal dust, I recommend that you either buy hand guards or you buy boots, but I think boots are kind of the best because generally you wanna run the hand guards join up because you have really good matrices plus a chance of getting those hand guards. And for your purple dust, I just recommend you save that because we might be able to buy crystals once Vera starts. Then we have the crew store. Again, I don't recommend buying anything besides relic shards and you might even just want to save your points until the omnium shield is available and how you get crew points you want to make sure you're doing your daily donations and you want to do your four missions but again i recommend that you don't do password chests because you want to save as many of those as you can for vera then for the support store you want to make sure you're buying your joint supply chips i don't really recommend buying anything else because i believe you can use your support points once we get to vera but the best way to get support points is to do frontier clash normal for 375 support points to where you get experience and machine parts also you can do matrix drills difficulty one in a party of two run that over and over for 150 support points or you can do Void Rifts for 150 support points, or you can farm World Bosses and Force Decipher and get 100 support points as well as machine parts. Next, I would try to do as many achievements as you can today since we're going to Artificial Island and that might get you a few more rolls. On top of that, you might wanna go ahead and try to 100% the map so that way you don't have to worry about this area no more. Or you can go mount farming. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, check out my day 35 video, but other than that, talk with you guys later.